we're back. It's spring here in Chicago, and we're doing part six of Bohemian Rhapsody. So, just a little disclaimer here. This one's a little more tricky. So, if you're in the mood for a challenge, stick with me on part six. We're gonna go through it nice and slow and break part six down into four little sub pieces for you so you can really spend some time isolating each section here. So, grab your uke, make sure it's in tune, and get ready to have some fun playing some uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. All right, so I'm gonna break this down into four little subsections. So let's take a look at the first part here. I'll play it and then I'll show you how to do it. So this little section is. All right, so here's how we do that. So we're gonna start off by holding a G chord. If you haven't played a G chord before, index on the second fret, C string, ring finger on the third fret on the E string, middle finger on the A string on the second fret. So what I'm gonna do at the beginning here is this hammer on to the G with my middle finger. So I strum the G and I hammer on with my middle finger on the bottom string. So just try that. From there, we go up strum with the middle finger or index and then I just tick the top string so I do that twice so we have going on to the next little thing we go and then we do a down strum and then play the fifth fret on the A string with a single note. So again, nice and slow, we have up, tick, up, tick, strum, pluck the fifth. One more time. All right, into the second subsection here. So after we play the single note on the fifth, we're gonna slide up here to the seventh fret and bar the seventh fret with our index finger and then put our ring finger down on the ninth fret. And we're gonna strum this E minor chord one time. Then we take our ring finger off and play the seven fret here on the A string twice. So we have, from there, we move over here to this little weird concoction of a chord, E minor major seven, which is index finger on the fourth fret C string, ring finger on the seventh fret on the E string, and middle finger here on the A string on the sixth fret. So the reason that I'm playing it with this shape is because I need to leave my pinky free for this little section. So I'm gonna play this one time, and then I'm gonna add my pinky to the seventh fret. So here that is again. So we've got, and then we add to the seventh fret with our pinky. And then we play Finally, just a single note here on the ninth. So let me go through that nice and slow again. So we've got this E minor to start, then seven, seven, and we move here to this weird chord. One more time. All right, so because this is a little more intense than usual, we're gonna do a little mini play along here just through those first two subsections. So here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, moving into the third little subsection. I hope you're sticking with me here. So we're gonna go over here to this 
fun little chord. This is an A minor 7, so I start off by barring the 7th fret, adding my middle finger to the 8th fret on the E string, and then my pinky is going to go out here to the 10th fret on the A string. So I'm going to strum that chord once, followed by four single note plucks here on the 10th fret with my pinky. So we have followed by 7th fret. So you can just keep this barred here if you want to and play the 7th fret followed by the 8th fret on the E string followed by the 7th fret on the E string. So let's put that together so it's And the final move is when you play this on the seventh, you're going to slide it. And you'll see why in the fourth little subsection. But we have one more time. All right, so now we're going to put the first three parts together nice and slow. Here we go. And moving into part four. So after we do the little slide here, we're going to slide down to this D chord here, or a partial D chord. So you can play it with middle finger on the C string, second fret, ring finger on the E string, second fret. And we're just gonna strum that twice. So I just do two down strums. So I'm sliding down. From there, we're gonna move to this a flat chord. So to play A flat, we bar the entire third fret, put our middle finger on the E string on the fourth fret, ring finger on the fifth fret on the G string. So I'm going to show this to you really quick. So it's a muted strum. So I'm not pressing down the chord like this. I'm just actually holding the chord over the strings and touching them. So you should get this dead sound here. So when I do this, I do mute, and then I compress the chord and strum it. So try that with me. So you're going to go mute, compress the chord, strum up. So mute, up, mute, up. We have And then last, we just take this shape and slide it down to the second fret. So we have barred second, ring finger on the fourth fret on the G string, middle finger on the E string on the third fret. And we're going to do that exact same thing. We're going to mute and then strum up. So from the A flat, we go mute, strum, mute, strum on G. So let's put that together. So we have down strum, down strum, mute, up, mute, up. Now here it is all together. Here we go. We're going to play it nice and slow. One, two, three, four. All 
All right, now let's take a look at this a little closer to the tempo that it actually appears in the song. Here we go. One, two, three, four. some fun with that one. Whew, that was a doozy. I hope you're still with me here. Part six, Bohemian Rhapsody. You wanted it, now you have it. If you like this video, make sure you share it with your friends. Any Queen fans out there, I'm sure they would love learning this version. Spend some time with this and leave your comments below. Let me know, what do you find the most challenging about part six? I want to know because I found there were some parts that were pretty challenging for me as I was learning this as well. So. Keep in touch and grab the tab at allforyuke.com. I've got that fully put together for you guys. It's free. You can pull it up on the screen while you're playing this and check it out. So I hope to see you guys next time. Allforyuke.com. See you for part seven. <laughs>